All right, so as SAT scores come back from the December SAT, there are a few things that I want you to keep in mind. First of all, if you did well, celebrate. If your score improved at all from a past SAT, from a PSAT, from a practice test, that is something to celebrate and be proud of. But most of you are going to at least, even if you did really well, look at where you lost points and try to figure out what can I do differently because I'm taking the SAT again, probably in March, and I want to make sure I improve the score even more. Now remember that you can estimate the number of questions you got wrong based on your score. You should estimate that each question is roughly worth 10 to 20 points. So that's just an estimate, but if let's say you got a 710 in the reading section, that's 90 points that you lost, then that might mean that you got nine questions wrong. It might also mean that you got something like four or five questions wrong or somewhere in between that. Yes, it's possible you only got three questions wrong. Yes, it's possible you got 10 questions wrong. We will never know for sure, but 10 to 20 points per question is a reasonable estimate for helping you understand how this real SAT, where we will never know exactly what happened, how it compares to your practice test. And if you go back to your practice tests, look at the scores you got, look at the numbers of questions you got wrong, and compare. That 10 to 20 point estimate should make sense. And of course, if you want to improve the score, you need to get more questions right. Many of you are going to try to blame the curve of the test and say, that's what got me. I know I only got three questions wrong. There doesn't make sense. I shouldn't have lost this many points. In my experience doing this for 20 years, it is much, much more likely that you actually got more questions wrong than you estimate. And I know this because this is just a universal thing. Most people are very bad at estimating their own accuracy. Most people overestimate how accurate they are and they underestimate how many questions they got wrong. So before you start going blaming the test or anything like that, my honest advice, if you want to see improvement, is blame yourself. Maybe you made a couple more careless mistakes than you're used to. Maybe you fell for some trap answer choices. Maybe there were things that you thought you remembered, but you actually remembered incorrectly. And so as you're starting to prepare for the next SAT and thinking about what to work on, the most important thing you can do to change your score is change your strategy. And all of that starts with every time you do a practice SAT question and you pick that answer, I want you to think about how confident you are in that answer before you check to see if it's correct. Every single time you get a question wrong that you expected to get right, you need to go through that question with a fine tooth comb. Why are you confidently picking wrong answers? I don't care what kind of question it is. I don't care what topic it is. You need to figure out why are you confident in wrong answers? That ultimately is how you improve your SAT scores. Make sure you follow my channel. You get lots of advice on how to do that.